Hi guys, this is again me demonstrating the audio capture bot. Different lists and yeah, this time I will explain a little bit what is happening. So, but I have to shut up whenever the audio is playing. I'm sorry for that. Allowing others to. Yeah, basically, this is very old research. It's three or four years old. Then, reason number. Yeah, I'm in no way the first one that did that. I didn't invent this technique. I just uh, wanted to see if it still works. I'm reaching a transition. And it looks like it's working very well. As you can see, I'm, I'm using a anonymous browser incognito mode. Filter feeding strategy. Yeah, okay, now I can talk. Now the audio is not disturbing my speech. I'm sorry for that. Um, yeah, I wanted to create, a, actually I just wanted to play with uh, this a bit because I was intrigued by the very idea that it's possible to solve uh, probably the most advanced uh, bot recognition system out there with Google whether it's possible to solve this very advanced uh, CAPTCHA system, whether it's possible to break it. And it turns out it's possible to break it with Google's own speech-to-text API. Please keep in mind it's also possible to use other speech-to-text APIs. Uh, probably a lot of them will work. The reason is um, it's just not a problem that is that hard to recognize speech. It's not a problem anymore that is suitable to distinguish humans from robots. And this leads to a very kind of philosophical question. Um, are we at the point in time, or are we since uh, four years, namely when this attack emerged, since four years, we are at a point in time where it's increasingly difficult to create problems that uh, distinguish human beings from robots, or specifically from advanced AI. And uh, I think this is a truly interesting time to live in. I had much fun doing this uh, presentation. Okay, I will run it again, just for, because it's so, <laughs> it's so satisfying, to be honest, to see the recapture being solved automatically. Because we all hate that capture, you know, we all hate it. Detailed concrete logs. That's why it's so much fun. It's, it's so satisfying to see a robot solving this very annoying capture. But um, we have to keep in mind, it's also very important for internet services to be, to be able to, to filter out bad bots. Demonstrating how to pro and if we can't do that anymore it's gonna it's gonna lead to a lot of problems so this is this is uh, kind of serious you see something like that yeah as you can see i'm using an incognito browser window this means uh, i'm not logged into a google account i'm not using any cookies scratching even better <laughs> Yeah, I'm also randomizing the mouse movements. This is, by the way, the function that randomizes mouse movements. And um, yeah, this is all the code. I basically, I mostly rewrote the original code, um, but I use the same technique with, with a small exception. I'm using Puppeteer to grab the audio capture. This is something I wrote. And, uh, but I'm, I'm using, the technique from the original researchers from Uncapture 2. So this is not my idea, this is not my invention, this is not my research. I'm just uh, using their research and I want to demonstrate that this attack is still out there. And of course it's not so easy to launch this attack in a large scale because Google has uh, certain other mechanisms to defend against those kind of attacks. 
for example, they have an IP IP address counter associated with downloading audio captures and if you download too much audio captures they're gonna ban you or if you I'm very sure they also get a browser fingerprint and if they correlate your browser fingerprint with uh, with a lot of downloads it's also a reason to be susceptible and to be uh, uh, suspicious about the behavior and I'm pretty sure uncapture or sorry recaptures also monitoring mouse movements and stuff like that hence why i automated mouse movements a bit you can see it that mouse movements are automated i can run it again you see like uh, here the mouse is moving to some positions you can see it like she's unsalted yeah i'm trying to mimic human behavior which is really hard Yeah. Tracking trace. Okay. Which? I think this is enough. Let's stop the bot. Um, it worked a perfect. It solved all the captures, I think. Sometimes uh, the speech to text API doesn't solve all the captures, but I think it has an accuracy of over, I don't know, 95%, something like that. It's truly incredible. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Stay healthy and have a good time.